local. It's a meeting of the minds. Masterminds. Mastermind. Join us weekly on Time Warner Cable as the Capital Region's brightest young high school scholars come. Syracuse came to the Pepsi Arena in Albany. They were taking the first steps to a national championship today. Hakeem Oreck in the orange look for win number five in a row. of New York schools are set to do battle here in the state capitol this afternoon. It's number five Syracuse taking on the so far winless Saints of Siena this afternoon. We'll have a good crowd for this basketball game. We welcome you inside the Pepsi Arena. I'm John Sanders along with Bob Balbano sweeping to victory in the coaches versus cancer classic Syracuse off to a great start this year. Well they beat two nationally ranked teams in that classic John. They beat a very good Mississippi State team and a Memphis team that's very strong. So they have played national caliber competition and they've got real high aspirations for this season. Well they should because of the dy dynamic duel that they have. You start inside with Hakeem Warwick back for his senior season. Well what's not to like about this guy the great athleticism you see him off the dribble right there. He's a great finisher. His numbers are up a bit this year scoring wise but even more than that he gives you that senior leadership. You watch him off the alley hoop so athletic a bit stronger than people might realize as well. He gets it done around the goal. Remember this is a team that returns all five of their starters including one of the best guards in the country Jerry McNamara. Well his scoring numbers may be down but you know what there's only one number he cares about. That's the one on the scoreboard at the end of the game. This kid's a winner. They love his toughness. They love his aggressiveness. He'll do whatever it takes. Pass the ball. Shoot the ball. He'll get it done get the job done for the Orange. This was the launching pad to a national championship a couple years ago for the Orange. Many of their fans are here. We'll have a sellout crowd the first time in a decade. Basketball coming up from all after this. It's Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, and your Hyundai dealer is in a giving mood, giving you up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR at select models. And thanks to Hyundai's award-winning quality, Hyundai gives you America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So make your pilgrimage to the Hyundai Thanksgiving sales event for up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR now through November 30th. With Hyundai, you win. During Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, get up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR. Alcohol and over-the-counter sleep remedies induce drowsiness but reduce the quality of sleep. Better sleep, better health. It's true. And Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of specialty sleep products, water beds, futons, latex foam, and adjustable beds, along with everyday low prices on Sealy, Simmons, King Coil, and Tempur-Pedic. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand-name mattresses are always sell. being brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. For the best parts, people, and price, we're ready in advance. Hyundai with quality that lets them offer America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It is Siena hosting Syracuse. The Saints are 0-4. The Orange are 4-0 as we get set to bring you basketball from the state capital of New York. Our referee is Jim Haney, Michael Stevens, Ray Perone will be the other umpires. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for these two teams. And you can see a little bit of a change for Siena in that McClinton will get the start today. But keep your eye on number 33, Haddix. He's been their most solid player. Well, he is an overachiever, only 6'6". He's going to probably graduate as the second all-time leading rebounder, averaging six a game and 17 and a half points a game. And he had a good game against Syracuse last year. And, of course, the Orange, one of six schools to bring back their starting five and also back with the team although not in there today is Billy Edelin who started 16 games for the Orange last year so it's Syracuse and Siena from the Pepsi Arena this is a beautiful building Syracuse has a nice history here of course because on their national championship run this was the one of the sites on the way to their national crown and of course they had a huge fan support here for that <laughs> tournament and there are a lot of there's Billy Edelin who is back working out with the team. He's been back since the 21st of 
in November. Looks good. He's lost some weight. He's in great shape, evidently. So hopefully uh, for the Orange, he'll be able to get back on the courts. Well, Coach Jim Beheim says he will play. He just doesn't say when he's <laughs> going to play. <laughs> Both teams participating in early season tournaments. The Saints were winless in the Black Coaches Association Classic. And as we told you, the Orange, who controlled the opening tip, won the Coaches versus Cancer Classic. Pace on the outside. Here's Warwick. Working on Sneezik, gets to the lane, scoops it up and in. And that is just so tough, so athletic, and so. Confident right now, playing like you'd expect a senior with the kind of numbers he's put up to play. Now, one of the freshmen, and there are 10, actually 11 players who play a lot, and they will all play 10 or 15 minutes. The foul is going to go against Siena, and it'll be called on Brent Sneezik, I believe. He'll pick up his first foul. Here's Jim Beheim. What an unbelievable career he's had at his alma mater. We could do, a, we could do an infomercial just about his achievements. Well on his way to 700 wins, as you can see. And 27 of his 29 years have wound up in the postseason. Remarkable. Here comes McNamara down the lane, dumps it inside to fourth. The hometown boy puts it up but it's too strong. Follow underneath goes. Good hustle underneath that time by Pace. The one thing you got to like about Syracuse, obviously a heavy favorite in this game. They look like they've come out ready to go right down to business. There's been no lethargic play at the start of this one. Sneezik's turn around, an air ball goes into the hands of Demetrius Nichols. Back comes McNamara. He'll push it down the lane, off the glass and in. Just a winner, that young man. Jimmy Beheim speaks so glowingly about him. Tough as nails. Tells some great stories about the countless stories during games, things he said or done that just really show that that side of his personality a leader the first six belong to the orange the long skip pass in the corner he almost walked three pointer on the way rattles out Warwick the rebound lost it momentarily McNamara feeds Nichols and he'll go to the line the foul will be on Jack McClintock one of those Freshman players, and they brought in six freshmen, four of them for Siena are guards. Well, one of the things that as you watch the replay here, Warwick gets away with one there, a little casual with the ball, but McNamara again, so quick and assertive, finding the open man. You know, I, I love what he what he says. Don't make me a point guard or a two guard. I'm a guard. I do what guards do. I pass when I have to, I handle the ball, I shoot it. I'll tell you what, he just makes the right decision a lot more times than not. That was a perfect example of it on that break. David Ryan has checked back, has checked into the lineup for the first time, replacing Sneezik and rattling home the second two of two at the line for Nichols. Of course, it's long been a Syracuse tradition that they don't shoot free throws very well, and that's kind of been their story this year. Actually, in those two games against Mississippi State and Memphis State, they started slowly and then picked it up in the second half. Not a slow start here today. It's 8 nothing. I love to watch them play this 2-3. Always looking to shoot gaps, looking to get steals. They get a lot of steals. We'll talk about that as the game wears on. But they don't just sit back there and react to you. They're always looking to make things happen. Down the lane and then kicking back out. Lost underneath, and the Saints will keep it with 17.52 to go. We're just underway. Jim Beheim cannot believe the call, but it'll be Siena ball. Called a kick ball, so they'll get a new 35. There's Rob Lanier in his fourth season at Siena. Of course, you can't be too distressed by their slow start because they're good finishers. They play well in February and March. Well, the history of that, when they went to the NCAA, they started one and three that year, two seasons ago, and made it to the tournament. Good power move inside by Michael Haddix. He's their leading scorer at 17 and a half a game. Gets the first two this afternoon for the Saints. Warwick gets it to fourth, and he jams it home. Well, if you're going to press, once the guy turns the corner on the dribble, you've got to stop the ball sooner than that. If you don't stop Warwick till he's in the paint, he's either going to score or find somebody, as he did there with fourth for the slam. All five of the orange starters now have two points. Thus a 10-2 lead. Long range three is short. Al Fisher put up that shot, just checking into the lineup. Here's the feed inside. A good look. Look where Warwick is. Warwick, they don't stop him until he's inside the Mac logo in the lane there. That's too long because obviously 
he can decide what he wants to do from there. Finish it himself or find the open man he finds fourth. Three minutes enough. gone this afternoon. McNamara on the outside. Picked up out there by Al Fisher. Warwick dumps it down inside. It's stolen by Haddix. Back come the Saints. Tommy Mitchell, a senior from Tyler, Texas. Baseline move, tipped away. Picked off by Pace. Syracuse will push. Pace comes down the lane, puts up the runner. It won't go, but he'll go to the line. So tough when you have that many athletes, John, because it's easy for me to sit here and say, hey, you need to stop them out higher. But if you do, they'll just pass it to the next guy in a rotation, and he'll go around you because they are all very, very athletic and very aggressive in transition. Pace at the line. This is a guy that does not shoot from the outside. Very little. He's always going to be taking those little runners, those floaters, the 10 and 15 foot shots or closer. I'll tell you, if you're Sienna, though, right now, you almost have to make a rule that we don't shoot it until we throw it into Haddix. He's been the one bright spot. He has the steal. He has scored their only basket. It's easy, again, easier said than done, especially when you're young. He's clearly playing too over anxiously right now. A pair at the line, a 10 point lead for. The orange of Syracuse. Pace has four points. 12 2 to the start against Northern Colorado. The orange scored the first 24 points in that game, and it was over in a hurry. Sienna trying to hang in there. Knocked away from behind out of bounds. Sienna will keep it under its own basket with 16 25 to play. We're still in the first half. I think the Big East basketball race this year is going to be very interesting because you look at some solid teams like Notre Dame, Pittsburgh, obviously UConn and Syracuse. Syracuse, uh, the preseason pick by the coaches. We'll see how that pans out. And a league that's going to be dynamite next year. A foul inside. No, another, no, another kickball. That's two. What's the NCAA record for kickballs in the game? Syracuse, well, they're off to a good start in that area. to break it. I don't think there's any question about that. And for the Saints, Gary Holly, who played only briefly in the opening game of the season against Oregon State, sprained his ankle, and this is his first game back. They'll play a lot of people, a lot of minutes, and McNamara, uncontested, will take it down and lay it in. Little fellow gets up for a, that count as a dunk? I guess it does. Sure. They keep track of those. I think that's a dunk. A gentle dunk, but a dunk nonetheless. Again, you saw that example, what we talked about, shooting the gap to get the steal. They got it off that inbounds play. Had an offensive foul. Well, Jimmy bayheim has got to be pleased that his kids have come out and punched the clock tonight. We have our first break, 15.53 to play here in the opening half, and Syracuse is off and running. An early 12-point lead for the Orange. Holiday sales drive. Lease the 2005 BMW 325i for $299 a month, only through January 3rd. The Cooper Xeon 2XS Ultra High Performance Tire. Made to perform on the skid pad, the slalom, the track, and in the real world. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. Who do you think talked over 5,000 accident victims last year? Who do you think handled over 1,000 injury cases last year? Who do you think insurance companies sent millions of dollars to last year for the settlement of clients' claims? Who are you going to call if you get hurt in a car wreck? You know who. Martin, Harding, and Mazzotti. From the heavy hitters, do it again. Call 1-800-LAW-1010. Approximately 40% of women suffer sleep difficulties. Particularly vulnerable are those juggling career and children. 
better sleep, better health. It's true. And Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come talk to our sleep experts who can help you choose the right mattress for your situation. Free local delivery, setup, and removal with every premium set. We have a huge inventory of Sealy, Simmons, King Coil, and Tempur-Pedic mattresses in stock at everyday low prices. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the Circle in Latham. That offense, as always, being led by McNamara. Now being led by a couple of things that we talked about. He does so well off the dribble and the finish. Then you see off the inbounds pass. Syracuse pace gets in the lane, knocks it loose. McNamara picks it up and gets the finish. They are always looking to get a hand on the passing lane, in the passing lane, get those steals out of that zone. And they have done a good job of it all year long. They've averaged almost eight steals a game already in the show season. No subs so far for the Orange. They've gone with their starting five. And as we expected, Siena has substituted liberally. Warwick back to McNamara. Here's Pace outside. Dumped down. Quick turnaround shot. Rattles out. Rebound brought out of there by Mensa, one of the outstanding freshmen. Of course, a very young Siena team. It really is. The first practice they took these kids to shave. That's a very young bunch, but they are going to get better. Got some talent there. Mitchell, the senior, gets inside and has to get it back out to Fisher. They work the perimeter. Here comes Fisher down the lane. Draws some contact. Loose ball. Slapped away, but out of bounds was Demetrius Nichols. So. Sienna will keep 12 on the shot clock, just over 15 left in the opening half. Well, Rob Lanier went to his zone that last possession. It was a good look by Warwick, but maybe that'll slow Syracuse down a bit. They got to get some easy baskets, though. They've had a hard time getting good shots. That's not the way to do it. That'll turn over Tommy Mitchell, the senior from Tyler, Texas. In the series history, it's been dominated by Syracuse, the average margin of victory over 35 points a game but last year was only a 13 point game and Siena played a little better than Syracuse in the second half last year well, that's what you try and hang your hat on is and that's what they'll do today I'm sure they'll try and find some places where they can show they played with a team that has legitimate final four aspirations I don't think there's any doubt about that John no I agree with you Bob this is a very good basketball team and what is going to be a very good conference this year last year of the mini conference if you will because the numbers will swell McNamara will go to the line after hitting the three the foul is on Tay Fisher but McNamara buries his 10th three pointer of the young season quick pass from pace run at him that's a good call got him down low but doesn't phase him concentrates makes the shot he is just a winner they Bernie Fine told me some stories before the game about things he has done during the game. He said, you know, if this kid misses 10 shots in a row, he's going to demand the ball for the 11th one because he's convinced exactly. he's going to make it. You'll want to throw it to him. The other thing he does not do is miss free throws. He's missed three so far this year. <laughs> Two of those came in one of the early games. They get him out of the way in a hurry. Four-point play. That's further exacerbates things for the Saints. And that time they get it across inside against the zone. And Brent Sneezik. The senior from Brad Alban puts it in. Nice catch. Tough, tough place to catch it. Warwick, no place to go. Finds McNamara. Nichols pulls up for his jumper from outside. Too strong. Rebound. Warwick. And went up for the jam, and Forth will track it down. Here's Pace. McNamara lines up a three. Comes up short. And now some subs coming in for the Orange. Look at the pass. Tough uh, play inside. That is. I mean, that's a very small window to throw. It's a nice pass delivered by Mitchell, but then a good catch by Sneezek. And uh, that really had to be perfect just to get, even get that pass there, let alone to convert it into a bucket. Terrence Roberts, one of the outstanding group of that sophomore class, is in there for the first time this afternoon. As the Saints control. Three-pointer on the way. Good. Dave Fisher hits the three. That's his 10th three-pointer of the season. He's the leading three-point shooter in New York high school history. So you know he can do that. Long three for McNamara is off the mark. Saints come back. This is Fisher. He'll slow it down. And they need to find him again. Shoot again. That's it. Steps inside the arc, and that one rattles out into the hands of Fourth, the hometown boy, who got a huge hand when he was introduced from East Greenbush. Went to school right here in the capital region. Fourth tried to dump it down. It's knocked away by Sneezik, and he keeps it for Syracuse. 
Fourth, a guy that has started every game yes. for Jim Behan since he walked on the campus. Great student, solid citizen. Is a travel and Santa getting a little confidence since they went to this zone. Tried to step his way through and turns it over. Well, you know, they had it. Holly made the aggressive play to try and block the dunk earlier. And now they're getting uh, not quite as knocked back on their heels, the Saints. See if they can get a good possession here. McCroskey in, pace out to the orange. The Sienna now controls on the perimeter. They really have not been able to penetrate this zone very much so far today. Baseline move. Paddock powers his way up, missed the shot. Sneezik to follow, and that's goaltending. So give the basket to the senior, Brent Sneezik. Well, you know what, what really changed by knocking in that 1-3, as you see the end of this play, Haddock's with the drive. Nice follow by the big fella. And then the goaltend. That ball's halfway down. Sneezik goes up and goes right back up with about the uh, dribble, and that's an easy call on the goaltend. But Fisher out there, by making that first three, has made the defense extend a little bit. John, you said they had trouble getting penetration. That time they did. They were swung so far around to his side. Almost turned over. McCroskey keeps it alive and gets the roll. Louis McCroskey, a sophomore from the Bronx, his first two. They need to make sure they come this way at least once to Fisher, because when he catches it, they extend to him. That opens some things up. He needs to get in shooting position. Haddock's blocked from behind, held ball. And Coach Lanier wanted a foul on that play. He is not going to get it, so it's Siena basketball. That's what Syracuse so good, breaking to the ball. Guy gets an eye post. They come from the weak side, get a hand on it. Everybody reacts so well to the ball. The experimental rules with that expanded arc and the expanded lane not being used here in the Pepsi Arena today. Turn around. Sneezik is good. Little jump hook. He's got six early points. The seniors getting some presents for the Saints around the basket. Boy, they've needed that. They have cut the lead to nine. It was as many as 16. McNamara dishes it off. Three is on the way too strong. Boric scrambles, got the rebound. He just reached over Tay Fisher that time. And McNamara hits the three. It's like a walk in the park. Warwick gets the rebound. That's a great place to get threes off of stick backs. Found McNamara spotting up his second three of the game. 11 early points for him. Syracuse up 23 to 11. Fisher with another three, and he buries that one. Oh, Jack, yeah, that we know he can do. And that was a deep one. And that opens things up. One guy out there can make all sorts of lanes open up because you have to go play him. They tried the backdoor play and a foul called. It'll be number two on the center for the Saints, Brent Sneezik. He'll pick up his second foul, 11-04 to be played here in the opening half. Sienna trying to battle back. They had been down by 16. Right now it's 23-14, Syracuse. What are you holding now? A six-pack. A six-pack? Brilliant! What you do? Well, I figured out how to carry six beers at the same time. Carry six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Let's drink them. You know, I've been thinking. It might not be the smartest idea to drink six beers at the same time. Don't drink six beers at the same time? Brilliant! Brilliant! Drink in a straff straight from the bottle and always enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! If you want to match the new 2005 Ford Super Duty's towing capacity with the Chevy Silverado, you better make sure you got more than one Silverado. With a class-exclusive tow command system featuring a torque shift five-speed automatic, the new Super Duty can just flat out pull more. And with a fully integrated trailer brake controller, Super Duty does it with more control. This is best in class towing. This is the next Ford Super Duty. 
Anaconda Sports, your sports authority, proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company, make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby. It is basketball season, and Syracuse leads 23-14. to 14. Not a lot of three-point shooting early, but a little more here of late. Well, McNamara, that's what he's talking about. He sensed his team getting a little threatened, and so he steps up off of the great offensive rebound. Warwick gets the rebound. This is the end of that play. Very calmly finds McNamara for the spot up, and he makes a second three. But here's one of the three reasons Sienna's gotten back into it. That guy right there, Tay Fisher, has two threes. He has stretched the defense. Sneezek has given them an inside presence, and that zone slowed Syracuse down. But now, a bit surprisingly to me at least, they go back man to man. Watkins turn around. He is the seventh orange player to score a basket in this game. The lead goes back to double figures at 25-14. They've really given no indication they can stop him in the man to man. I think they may have to go back to that zone. And you would think as much as they play the zone that Syracuse would be good against the zone, right? They always say press a team that presses you. <laughs> yeah. Zone a team that zones you. There's another skill. They get so many steals in this zone. Fisher all over McNamara, who keeps his dribble. And finally draws the foul. That'll be number two on Tay Fisher, who was just pounding him down the court. Yeah, they let him get away with a couple of bumps. You can see McNamara getting a little annoyed. I said this is this is one of those plays where he backs you down and scores on you just because he's annoyed. But they got the whistle and he'll go to the line, which is almost automatic with this guy. He's 14 of 17 at the free throw line so far this season. One for one today. He's got a dozen already, the junior from Stranton, PA. Now, he doesn't get a lot of recognition among the top guards in the country, but you look at his numbers, and you touched on it in the open, wins are what you play for. Well, that's what Jimmy Beheim was telling us before the game. So I get a kick out of the fact that, you know, they list the top point guards in the country. You can't find his name in the top ten, but he's got more wins than probably all the other ones. Biggest lead for the Orange has been 16. They're up by 13 right now. And some pressure from Syracuse. This is a tactic that has worked for Jim Beheim from time to time. Well, back in that 2-3 zone which was so good to them early. We'll talk about what they did earlier against Princeton with that. Boy, did that game turn that game around. Maddox gets inside, puts up a left-hander and rolls it in. Showing that strength inside, just his second basket. Well, they clearly have some building blocks upon which to grow this program, Sienna. They're so young. You talked about it, John. Well, Sneezik's a senior, and he's given them a good presence here. Haddock's only a junior, and so many good young players. Freshman Josh Wright is out there right now for the Orange. And one advantage, you've got a guy like Wright, good player. He doesn't really have to do anything because you've got everybody else. Nice speed that time. McCroskey gets his second basket. Warwick willing to pass the ball. you got to love that when your leading scorer is looking to pass. It's another, it's one about two or three of them. One to McNamara for the three, one right there. Touch last by Haddix out of bounds. It's 29 16. Here's the passing you're talking about. A little uh, Goose Tatum thing there with the Globetrotters with the one hand faking that way, but doesn't matter because had the effect he wanted. Drew the defense to him off the dribble. Krosky reacted to the dribble drive, went back door. Yeah. Cut by Krosky off the drive. He goes inside. The jumper, the left hand jumper is too strong, but look at the power rebound and the roll from Watkins, his second basket. Well, I can see Rob Lanier's picked their points because when he goes zone, they get misses, but they can't rebound. When they go man, they can't stop anybody, so they have to find some answers. Syracuse by 15 again. Pull up jumper, too strong. Rebound, Hakeem Warwick. Gives it up to the freshman, Josh Wright. Josh from Utica, New York. Now McCroskey, and a bad pass. Watkins could not reach it, goes out of bounds. He was trying to pull it back, and I think started to throw it, and he said, it slipped out of my hand. He's telling coach, I was trying to stop. I was trying to stop that coach. Mensa, the freshman. There's Fisher's three, and that's his third. He's locked in. Nine points, three three-pointers. Wow. 
Ah, wow, is all I can say about that one. You can shoot it. You can always find a place for a guy who can throw through that little ring from about 30 feet away, John. <laughs> and it's going to be a timeout. Syracuse. Syracuse will take the time with eight minutes and 17 seconds remaining here in the opening half, a 31-19 lead. And the, the reason the Saints are staying in this ballgame is the shooting of the freshman, Tay Fisher. Syracuse, of course, you talk about teams being good starters and finishers, that would be Syracuse. They rarely lose in the month of November. Well, every coach who's at a powerful program gets criticized sometimes when every game in November is not against the top 10 team. But, hey, we already talked about it. They won that Coaches versus Cancer Classic against two of the four games. Two were very, very good teams, Mississippi State and Memphis. So they don't owe anybody an apology for that. And, and they uh, were tested by Princeton, too. Well, that's what we talked about earlier. Princeton, after six minutes, Princeton had had a lead in that game. They had already scored 14 points. Syracuse had opened man-to-man. -man. They went zone. In the last 33 minutes of that game, they gave up just 31 points and really turned that game around. That 2-3 zone has obviously been so good to them. But they, as you pointed out earlier, John, they can mix it up. They do sell the full-court press. They will play more man-to-man. -man. They're not a one-trick pony. One of the nation's elite. There's no doubt about that. Wright gets inside. McNamara will have to track it down. He does. One thing that Jim Beheim has been doing, he's been trying to use different groups and, and rotate. He said that's one of the reasons that a little sluggish at the start of some of these ball games. That's a double dribble. So Nichols turns it over. It's 31-19. The Orange have the lead. Look at the follow and the effort there for two for Syracuse. It's Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, and your Hyundai dealer is in a giving mood, giving you up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR at select models. And thanks to Hyundai's award-winning quality, Hyundai gives you America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So make your pilgrimage to the Hyundai Thanksgiving sales event for up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR now through November 30th. With Hyundai, you win. During Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, get up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR. College basketball fans, get ready for the 2005 Big East Women's Basketball Championship. March 5th through the 8th at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. See all 12 Big East Women's Basketball teams battle for the Big East Championship Tournament title. For tickets and more information, call 860-525-4500. That's 860-525-4500. Or log on to Ticketmaster.com. BeepBeep.com, the fastest, smartest, and easiest way to shop online for your next new or used car. Not sure what vehicle you can afford? Choose to shop by payment. Just type in your ideal minimum and maximum monthly payment, your cash down and trade-in value. BeepBeep.com will show you all the vehicles available in your payment range. BeepBeep.com, log on today and drive home your new vehicle tomorrow. <laughs> drive home with your car from Affordable Motors and BeepBeep.com. Anaconda Sports, your sports authority, proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company, make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby! is the score, and the guy who's kind of single-handedly keeping the Saints around is named Fisher. One of the things I love about Great Shirt is you could see he was getting his feet set as the ball was in the air to him. They always seem to be shooting the ball on balance. That's not by accident. He was already getting that right foot anchored to the floor so he could push off of that jump shot while the ball was in the air to him, letting him get the shot off just that much more quickly and on balance, and he is a perfect three for three behind the arc. Uh, another freshman, Joel Green, has checked into the lineup for the Saints who get it inside. Haddock draws a crowd and a foul. Well, he'll go to the line. The foul is on Nichols. It'll be his first. John, you said about the penetration. They actually get a little screen against the zone, the zone to the baseline drive. And then Haddock's a good, strong move. But again, they are always going to react quickly to the ball, Syracuse. Any great half-court defense, no matter what it is, 
He makes the first free throw. It always reacts to ball movement, whether it's man-to-man -man or a 1-3-1. One, one. The ball moves, the defense moves. But in, in this 2-3, very subtle ways. You always see the Orange adjusting their angles to where the basketball is looking to get that steal. One out of two at the line for a 70% free throw shooter, Haddix. So the freshman will bring it up right to the Orange. Syracuse has led from the beginning. Seattle can get to the locker room. The three birds flying around the arena here, by the way. <laughs> They're in early for the hockey game. <laughs> so, Warwick powers along oh, his 14th dunk. And that was a major league <laughs> dunk there. Oh, wow. Just his second basket. Look at this little clinic here. Feels the defense, rolls to the baseline, up fake, step under. That's post play 101. Very nice by the senior. Three-pointer, too strong. He missed that time by Jordan, who was struggled last year with uh, an ankle problem. Warwick works his way into the lane, now leans in, puts up a short jumper, gets his own rebound, gets it back to McNamara. He's beyond the arc, and that's three. That's just beautiful. I, I, that's just beautiful out of Warwick. They would not let him make the pass to McNamara, so he brought the ball up himself, got in the lane, missed the shot, Hustled for the rebound, did think about selfishly putting it up, tried to find McNamara, and he had the open three. There's a long three that's too strong. Look at that rebound with one hand. He's very impressive. McNamara looking for his fourth three-pointer. That one's too strong, but Watkins goes back up. He misses. And finally tracked down. Nichols with it. Three-pointer by Wright. And it's going to be a foul on Siena. John, let's... let's face reality here. Syracuse comes in 4-0, having beat two nationally ranked teams. Siena trying to avoid their first 0-5 start. As you watch Warwick here, there's the great second effort of his own miss. Keeps the ball alive. The minute he gets that rebound, he's looking for McNamara. I love that about him and his team. They want to pass the basketball, but the following in that thought, we talked about the difference in records. This would have been an easy game for Syracuse perhaps to coast a little at the beginning. I've been impressed that they have had their game face on from the opening tip. Very workmanlike performance. Watkins misses his second free throw attempt of the season. He's 0 for 2. We have six minutes remaining in the opening half from Pepsi Arena in downtown Albany. The last sellout they had was an NIT game that Siena played here back in 1994. Haddix has it taken away. Watkins gets it, pushes it ahead to right. Now Warwick. Nichols. Warwick. Three-pointer, Warwick. Good position on the rebound that time by Antoine Jordan. He'll bring it up. Ryan with it. And a blocking foul called on Darrell Watkins. He'll pick up his first personal foul. And it comes with 5.18 to play in the half. And Syracuse matching its biggest lead of the half. Fourth will check back in along with Pace for the Orange. They're up by 16. Syracuse, that's only their second team foul. And the first one occurred a couple of moments ago. A big cheer went up from the crowd because Siena already in the penalty. But frankly, Syracuse does a good job avoiding contact in that zone. They look to play passing lanes. And they really avoid contact pretty well, keep you off the line. Interesting note for Siena. All of the assistant coaches are in their first year, and that is unusual for a coach to change his entire staff. One of them, Cameron Neubauer, came back after going to Georgia for a year, and then he is back as an assistant. But it was various things. The other assistants, one got a job scouting for the NBA, one got another assistant coaching job. So changes for Rob Lanier's crew. Now, you always like when your assistants get to move on to things off the their steps up, obviously. It sounds like a lot of good opportunities there. Short. Rebound Haddix, who used one arm to hold off Nichols and the other arm to rebound. Now the Saints push it a little bit, but Syracuse regroups. Less than five remaining in the half. Nice reverse that time on the good inside pass. Haddix now with seven points. That was a nice bit of transition. They didn't force it when Syracuse got back. Quickly got into their offense. Got a little high-low. There's a three that's too strong. Pace on the weak side. Back up with a follow. He's got six. And they just they 
picking their poison. When they play man, they get beat off the initial surge. When they go zone, they get beat off the glass. Just having a hard time, but that's a tribute to the explosiveness of Syracuse and their balance. 38-14, the lead is 14. There's a three on the way, and that's off the mark. The rebound to Nichols off the miss that time by Chuck. Here comes a good feed inside the fourth. McNamara looked one way, found fourth for his second basket. Wow. They get it up there in a hurry, and if, again, if you don't stop the ball until it's in the lane, it's too late. And again, trying to shoot the lane, get a steal, just missed it. Chris Fisher, he's been quiet for a while. He was on the bench, and that one's off his arm out of bounds. That's because McNamara went for the steal, kind of threw off the rhythm of that play, forced the turnover. Three minutes, 48 seconds remaining in the first half. Syracuse has matched its biggest lead. It's 40 to 24. holiday sales drive. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $4.69 a month, only through January 3rd. I don't know what I was thinking. I tried to tell you, genius. I can't believe I'm in this situation. We're not having fun anymore. I'm feeling your pain. I don't know what to do. Hey, look at me. We all make mistakes. I told you about the tires, huh? Yeah. You should have gotten Cooper. Buying tires is a big decision. Next time, get everything you want. Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing. Beepbeep.com, the fastest, smartest, and easiest way to shop online for your next new or used car. Not sure what vehicle you can afford? Choose to shop by payment. Just type in your ideal minimum and maximum monthly payment, your cash down and trade-in value. Beepbeep.com will show you all the vehicles available in your payment range. Beepbeep.com. Log on today and drive home your new vehicle tomorrow. <laughs> drive home with your car from Affordable Motors and Beepbeep.com. Before any other attorney in our area advertised on TV, I had a simple message. If you or a loved one were injured due to the carelessness of another, I would be there to help. That was more than 15 years ago, and since then I have helped several thousands of our neighbors. People like Mary, Tony, Luther, Michael, and Chris and Mary. Other attorneys have come and gone, but I'm still here and on your side. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. 16-point advantage for Syracuse, two of the nation's better basketball players on display, and one of them, of course, is number one, Haki Mori. You want some versatility? Here is some versatility. Off the dribble. Now a little clinic in the post. Roll one way, fake up and under. Then rebounding, he can do that. Passing, he can do that. Finds McNamara. He's done that twice off an offensive rebound. He always looks for McNamara off the offensive rebound. It's an almost impossible thing to find him that quickly and stop the three. Warwick knows an unselfish player and a talented one. See the numbers consistently very, very impressive so far this year. Deshaun Wright in the game for the first time. Fourth has it taken away. Haddix comes up with the loose basketball and hands it to McClinton. That's Fisher. will jump out on him. He has those three three-pointers so far this afternoon. Haddix. Spins it up, no good. Rebound, Warwick. Here's McNamara. He's going to take it down the lane. And boy, that opened up like the parting of the Red Sea. They've had a hard time stopping the basketball, and it's frankly getting worse. That time they didn't stop. Before they were stopping it too late, that time they didn't stop it at all. 18 points so far in the first half for McNamara. Syracuse out to its biggest lead. There's Fisher's three. That one misses. The follow is blocked. Good attempt to follow by David Ryan, but it was blocked. And back come the orange again. Pace at the foul line. Puts up a floater. Good. That's his shot right there. Very, He's got eight. Very workmanlike, John. This is just a very thorough performance by Syracuse. Doing what they do. Well, certainly not taking Siena lightly, but Jim Bayham made the comment earlier in the week that more fun to play games than it is to practice. And yeah, that's what true. these guys want to do. There's a three that's good. But David Ryan gets the three-pointer. That's just his third this year. 
Syracuse will take the timeout with 219 to play in the half. Michael Haddix has been the key offensively for the Saints. He has seven points so far this afternoon. Tay Fisher is leading the way, but he's got the strength to battle inside. Well, Fisher, by able by making those threes, been able to stretch the defense a bit, and that that's how you create the room that you see right there. The good strong turn. Again, when you get the defense extended to the wing, he comes flashes strong to the post and he finishes. That is off a nice high low. An aggressive rebounder, but they had a hard time getting it to him early because there was nobody who was able to make a shot to extend the defense. Once Fisher made a few, things opened up for Haddock's inside, and he's got seven points. Syracuse, the orange in orange from head to toe. All orange uniforms and plenty of orange on their shoes as well. White on the socks, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but they've got an orange swoosh. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Warwick. They got him. Pace found him. Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Off the timeout, Sienna back to that zone, and just a brilliant bit of passing and finishing. Spectacular! The crowd re responds again when they show yeah. the replay. Yeah, they're still ooing and eyeing over the B re replay board right high above us. Haddix again powers his way inside. That time he misses. Out of bounds. It's still Sienna basketball. This it was Pace who spotted him and put it in his hands. Just beautiful left hand delivery and he'd be a good water polo player Warwick because he doesn't ever use a second hand on the ball. He just puts the one hand on it. That's all he needs. He fakes with one hand dunks with one hand. I guess the question is how well can he swim. I don't know that might be a factor. <laughs> Spectacular bit of finishing a good delivery by Pace. You said it John. He put it right on the money. Fisher thought about the three. This is a three pointer on the way too strong and pace loses the rebound of the Tommy Mitchell miss. A minute 26 remaining in the opening half of this matchup of the Big East and the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. It's out of bounds. Take a look at our game track with a minute 20 to play in the opening half. Well, not surprising there. Look at McNamara, 18 points. Syracuse well over 50%. Fisher, one of the bright spots, not the only one for Sienna. He's three for three from behind the arc, but also Haddix has shown that he's the real deal again. He's got seven points and done some strong things inside. This young team will only get better. Well, we mentioned their success in the latter part of the season. Nice move, a turn to the left hand by Apples, as he is known, Jack McClinton, the freshman from Baltimore, and there are plenty of freshmen on this team. Well, one of the freshmen, Marshall Taylor, is being redshirted this year, but they still have five others. That's one of the things young teams have to learn to do is when to throw it in the post, throw it back out of the post, go in and out, good things happen. That's what they did last time. Pace turns it over, back the other way comes McClinton. Pulls up for a jumper and buries it. Two in a row for Jack McClinton. Very composed. McNamara, the wily veteran, thought he could bluff him in throwing it to the wing, and he was going to go steal that pass. But actually, it was McClinton who got the better. He faked to the wing. Nice on balance jumper. Final 30 seconds of the opening half. About a four-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. McNamara is going to use up all the time that he can. The shot clock now down to 11 seconds. Pace along the baseline, rims out, fourth tips it out of bounds, it belongs to Siena. For the Saints, one last gasp. Coming up at halftime, we'll have our ESPN Plus halftime report. Check out the Big East Wire, a look at the preseason picks as the best players in the Big East Conference. And our Hyundai cool fact of the game, all the highlights and stats of the opening 20 minutes coming up on our ESPN Plus halftime report in just over four seconds. A foul on Maximer. Very smart. That's a heady player. They could foul three more times and still not get to the one on one. McNamara knew it. And he might. I, obviously, he doesn't want to put himself in foul trouble here, but Jimmy Beheim may make a substitution. He just will. For that we'll bring in Josh Wright, the freshman. Josh, Wright, Josh go in and hammer somebody. That may be the strategy. He won't get a chance. 
Yes, they did. Yep, he tracked him down. He had to run across the court to get to him. He stalked him. That'll be the first foul. It's just the fourth team foul, as you said. They're going to use up the last few seconds with some fouls here because they're not going to put him at the line. They're going to try and keep him from getting a shot off at all. Well, they're going to get one, though. Yes, they will. And that will do it for the first 20 minutes of basketball. A big, big first half for Jerry McNamara, for leading the Orange to a 15-point lead. He played 17 of the 20 minutes and scored 18 points in those 17 minutes. So he has been the key to this first half for the Orange. The number five ranked Syracuse Orange looking for win number five. They've got the inside-outside combination on display here in Albany. The ESPN Plus Halftime Report is next. You see us as athletes, but first and foremost, we're students. We go to class, study, do term papers, take exams, and then we watch game film, go to practice and lift weights. We graduate with distinguished degrees and get good jobs. We're doctors, teachers, and engineers. We work in high finance and community service. Sports is the means to an end. We are student athletes, the future civic leaders of America. The 2005 Ford Escape brings a whole new meaning to SUV. Escape is smart with a powerful 200 horsepower V6 engine. It's unique. Escape is the only small SUV with control track four wheel drive. And Escape is versatile. It has plenty of room, plus an exclusive rack system. Now get the best selling small SUV in America for only $269 a month. Visit your upstate Ford dealer for details today. Ford, built for the road ahead. I'm sick. My doctor says I can't work. What do they want from me? I've been paying into the system all my life, so why aren't my benefits there when I need them? I feel like giving up. I don't know what else to do. If you've been turned down for Social Security disability benefits, those complaints probably sound familiar. I'm attorney Ed Ryan. Don't get frustrated and give up. Call us today. And remember, if you wait too long, you'll have to start over and risk losing benefits. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. You are 50% more vulnerable to viral infection when you get only six hours of sleep. Better sleep, better health. It's true. And a new mattress from Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of Sealy Posturepedic, Simmons Beautyrest, King Coil, and Tempurpedic at everyday low prices. You don't need to wait for a sale. Forget about rebates. Capital Mattress has genuine everyday low prices. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand name mattresses are always sell. Anaconda Sports, your sports authority. Proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company. Make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby. Welcome back to Albany, New York, and our ESPN Plus Halftime Report. Syracuse and Siena have put 20 minutes of basketball in the books. Let's take a look at our Big East wire for this afternoon and checking out the all-Big East first team in the preseason voting and a senior who's come back for his last year at Notre Dame running the show for the Fighting Irish. Chris Thomas. Well, you certainly love any time you get senior leadership, but especially in the backcourt. He was third in the conference last year in scoring, and he leads all active Big East players. Points, scoring average, three-point field goals, assists, and more. But as we said, the big thing is he's just able to control the game with that great senior leadership. You see the great pass inside right there. The Irish are delighted to have him back. The Panthers will be guided by Carl Krauser again this year. Well, that was a guy where everyone was when you see what they take a step back. They lost Brandon Knight, but he has stepped up to the point last year, a very solid sophomore year. He had uh, over 15 points a game and uh, over four and a half assists a game. Clearly the most improved player on the team, and they think they can get even more from him this year, John. They, they got will to be the, in good shape. They got to the Sweet 16, as did Syracuse, led by the guy we're watching here today, Jerry McNamara. Well, I love this guy because he says, why do you want to make me a point guard or a two guard? I'm just a guard. I do what guards do. I handle the ball when I need to. I shoot it when I need to. You see, you can shoot it off the dribble right there he's an old school guard with an old school mentality but a big time game and of course you're going to get a lot of assists when you have a guy like 
Hakeem Warwick working inside with you. This has become a great duo. And Warwick back for his senior year. Well, it's nice again when you have those seniors, but he just typifies that Syracuse type of player. The long, lean, athletic player. Stronger, though, than you might think. You see the good muscle move inside there. Runs the floor well. He's had a great early season. He was the MVP in the Coaches versus Cancer Classic. Just great for and great front court scoring. Well, the Pittsburgh Panthers have some outstanding inside players, and one of them is sophomore center Chris Taft. Well, they certainly are in good shape. I actually was talking to Ben Howland of all people the other day, and he said, hey, I'm not too worried about my old stomping grounds. They got some good young talent led by this guy, averaged over 10.7 and a half rebounds a game last year, and he's going to try and build off that great freshman year. And Craig Smith is back for Boston College. Will he make the Eagles fly this season? Well, it's their swan song in the conference. They got the broad shoulders of Chris Smith to put it on, averaged almost 17 points a game. Great shooter, high percentage shooter. You don't miss many of those, John. You get it that close to the basket. 55% from the floor, and he is, as you said, the broad shoulders on which they put a lot of the hopes for their season. Well, capping this outstanding group is the pick is the preseason player of the year in the conference, and Ryan Gomes of the Friars is off to a great start. I had a chance to see him. I was doing the NIT semifinals and finals in the preseason. Of course, Providence was there, and he has really worked on his perimeter game. You see that nice left-handed pass inside. We know he's going to be able to get ahead of the field and score around the basket. But he's really worked on his perimeter game to try and take it to the next level. It is an outstanding group, the preseason all Big East players. We've got more basketball coming up. Back to Albany with more right after this. Down by one with three seconds to go. Crowd's on its feet for a 49-yarder to win. Here's the snap. We're ready in advance. For the best parts, people and best, we're ready in advance. Now open until 9 p.m. on Sundays. BeatBeat.com, the fastest, smartest, and easiest way to shop online for your next new or used car. Not sure what vehicle you can afford? Choose to shop by payment. Just type in your ideal minimum and maximum monthly payment, your cash down and trade-in value. BeatBeat.com will show you all the vehicles available in your payment range. BeatBeat.com, log on today and drive home your new vehicle tomorrow. <laughs> drive home with your car from Affordable Motors and BeatBeat.com. Anaconda Sports, your sports authority. Proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company. Make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby. Before any other attorney in our area advertised on TV, I had a simple message. If you or a loved one were injured due to the carelessness of another, I would be there to help. That was more than 15 years ago, and since then I have helped several thousands of our neighbors. People like Mary, Tony, Luther, Michael, and Chris and Mary. Other attorneys have come and gone, but I'm still here and on your side. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. From the beginning, up by 15 as we continue with our ESPN Plus halftime report. It's 46-31. Let's check out our Hyundai Cool Fact for the game. The Hyundai Cool Fact Syracuse, 28 straight games in the regular season against New York State opponents, and they play plenty of them, don't they? And they don't, they don't duck too many folks around the state, but then again, they would probably have pretty good numbers against everybody around the country as you take a look at the upcoming in-state games for them. Of course, St. John's the only other in-state Big East Conference game, but they've got a whole litany of Division I schools they hope to line up and add to that total. So January 5th will be their first Big East Conference game. It's 46-31. We've got more to come. We'll check out some highlights and stats when we return to Albany, New York. Down by one with three seconds to go. Crowd's on its feet for a 49-yarder to win. Here's the snap. Fueling the 
greatest of American sports. Sitco, we know what drives you. The 2005 Ford Escape brings a whole new meaning to SUV. Escape is smart with a powerful 200 horsepower V6 engine. It's unique. Escape is the only small SUV with control track four-wheel drive. And Escape is versatile. It has plenty of room, plus an exclusive rack system. Now get the best-selling small SUV in America for only $269 a month. Visit your upstate Ford dealer for details today. Ford, built for the road ahead. I'm sick. My doctor says I can't work. What do they want from me? I've been paying into the system all my life. So why aren't my benefits there when I need them? I feel like giving up. I don't know what else to do. If you've been turned down for Social Security disability benefits, those complaints probably sound familiar. I'm attorney Ed Ryan. Don't get frustrated and give up. Call us today. And remember, if you wait too long, you'll have to start over and risk losing benefits. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. You are 50% more vulnerable to viral infection when you get only six hours of sleep. Better sleep, better health. It's true. And a new mattress from Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of Sealy Posturepedic, Simmons Beautyrest, King Coil, and Tempurpedic at everyday low prices. You don't need to wait for a sale. Forget about rebates. Capital Mattress has genuine everyday low prices. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand name mattresses are always sell. Syracuse started the afternoon on an 8-0 run, pushed the lead to as many as 20, and right now as they are back on the court, it is a 15 point difference along with Bob Valvano. I'm John Sanders. Let's take a look at some highlights from the opening 20 minutes of play. And we expected Haddix to be a factor inside, and he was. Well, they got a nice high low here. He finishes with the left hand, goes up, uses the rim as a screen. They got some outside shooting. Tate Fisher, that really is when things started to open up. He was able to knock down three threes, but too much Syracuse. Pace gets deflection on the inbounds pass. McNamara for the easy one ahead of the field. His other ones, John, wouldn't be quite so easy. Here's a nice runner going to his left. Shoots it going back over his right shoulder. Then Warwick off the offensive rebound, as he always does, tries to find him. McNamara knocks down the three. But Warwick said, you know, I can get some points done myself. Nice post move inside, and then the alley-oop from Pace for the one-handed authoritative slam. The one-two punch have been very, very impressive. Well, he had Syracuse. two dunks in the first half. He's got 15 on the year. It's game number five for the fifth-ranked Orange. They lead it by 15. Second half coming up. So what's this about our Guinness again? I've discovered that Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Only 125 calories? Brilliant! What else have you been up to? I've invented this little book. It's black. You put women's phone numbers in it. A little black book? Brilliant! <clears throat> uh, come here often. You can also use it as a coaster. A coaster? Brilliant! Brilliant! Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! You see us as athletes, but first and foremost, we're students. We go to class, study, do term papers, take exams, and then we watch game film, go to practice and lift weights. We graduate with distinguished degrees and get good jobs. We're doctors, teachers, and engineers. We work in high finance and community service. Sports is the means to an end. We are student athletes, the future civic leaders of America. Alcohol and over-the-counter sleep remedies induce drowsiness but reduce the quality of sleep. Better sleep, better health. It's true. And Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of specialty sleep products, water beds, futons, latex foam, and adjustable beds, along with everyday low prices on Sealy, Simmons, King Coil, and Tempur-Pedic. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand name mattresses are always sell. Who do you think talked over 5,000 accident victims last year? Who do you think handled over 1,000 injury cases last year? 
Who do you think insurance companies sent millions of dollars to last year for the settlement of clients' claims? Who are you going to call if you get hurt in a car wreck? You know who. Martin, Harding, and Mazzotti. From the heavy hitters, do it again. Call 1-800-LAW-1010. If you want to match the new 2005 Ford Super Duty's towing capacity with the Chevy Silverado, you better make sure you got more than one Silverado. With a class-exclusive tow command system featuring a torque shift five-speed automatic, the new Super Duty can just flat out pull more. And with a fully integrated trailer brake controller, Super Duty does it with more control. This is best in class towing. This is the next Ford Super Duty. 31 at halftime. One of the problems for Siena all year long, Bob, has been their shooting. As a team, they're shooting about 41% this afternoon. Syracuse is over 50%, but Siena on the year is not a 40% shooting team from the field. That's hurt them. Well, and you, certainly the percentage is going to be reflected by the points in the paint. Look at Syracuse there, John. 28 points in the paint, just 10 for Siena. Second chance points, 12 2, but that means 16 of those did not come off follows. They came off just driving the ball in the lane or making a nice post pass and having Warwick finish. That's certainly going to translate into a higher percentage. Syracuse has dominated in that category. It'll be Mensa, McClinton, Sneezik, Jordan, and Haddix out there. And Syracuse going with their original starting five McNamara, Pace, Hakeem Warwick with it. Of course, Demetrius Nichols and Ford. The native of the capital region. Well, Siena will control. We are underway in the second half. So he's led by as many as 20. Scored the game's first eight points this afternoon. Siena got way down, cut it to nine, had a little momentum going. Now, if you're Rob Lanise, so let's just go see how we do this half. They lost the first by 15. See if they can do a little better this half. Tipped away. And Pace, who tipped it away initially, gets it back and jams it. It's James Pace. So Pace in double figures with 10. He creates a lot of opportunities with the shooting of the gaps, deflections. We saw it the first half off the inbounds play, got one there. So many easy buckets when you can create those steals. Against fourth and a foul call. So the freshman Mensa will go to the line after the foul is committed by fourth. Take a look off the dribble. He loses it for a moment. That's all it takes. They're like sharks. They sense a bit of weakness. Pace went for the, when he fumbled the dribble, he went for it there, couldn't get it. Got a hand in the passing lane, deflects it. They wind up with an easy one at the other end. Kojo Mensa, the freshman from Brooklyn. Just a 67% foul shooter, misses his first chance this afternoon. Averages 10 a game and four assists a game, and he missed them both. Pace with a rebound. Syracuse leading by 17. The quick three is short from McNamara. Scramble for the rebound, and the Saints come out of there with it. Antoine Jordan able to get it ahead. Now gets it back, looks inside. Haddix is there against. That's blocked. Pace got a piece of that one. Warwick with McNamara ahead of him. Gets it to McNamara. Three is on the way. Rimming no good. Haddix the rebound. Well, Pace guards everybody. That's one time. He, just, he, just, he defends by himself in that zone. He's got deflections. He got that block coming from the weak side. He feels responsible for every square inch on that defensive end of the floor for the orange. McNamara's missed a couple of three-pointers to start the second half. He made three in the first half. Had a quick turnaround. He hits it. He's got nine. Oh, he's got some nice skills. That was a nice quick turnaround. He's strong. Good rebounder. Fearless. 6'6", 215. But he plays a little bigger than that, don't you think? Yeah, he certainly does. Now, there's no question about that. He'll graduate probably as the second all-time leading rebounder. He's held his own against this bigger front line for Syracuse. There's a tackle in the lane. That was a rather easy call. And that's going to go on Sneezik, and he has picked up his third foul. Yeah, they, it's a very nice wrestling hold. If they were riding time, they might have been able to secure some points. But just trying to battle inside. He's the first player in foul trouble, and he'll have to sit down. Gary Holly, the senior from Loudonville. Saints were losers to Oregon State, Pepperdine, and New Orleans in the Black Coaches Association Classic. And then lost to Crosstown rival Albany. 
big. Albany played very well. That yes, one is good, and that's a two. Here's one of the young kids to build on. McClinton, the freshman, now has six points. Some nice things over the last 10 or so minutes. Holly away from the ball, I think, with a grab. He'll pick up his first foul. There's a young squad for you. Five freshmen out of 11 active players, and they are sharing the wealth. They sure the minutes, are. Anyway. You can see the average minutes per game. Eight players averaging 15 plus minutes a game. Well, they have body language. You wouldn't know that they're a team that's 0-4. They're out there trying very hard. They seemingly uh, understand that it's a long process. They went to the NCAA tournament two years ago, and they were one and three to start that year. And of course, they also got into the tournament with a losing record and became the first team to win a first-round game yes, after making the tournament with a losing record. It's 48-35. Syracuse on top. There's plenty of orange scattered around Pepsi Arena. That's a three. And it's a little short. Nice rebound. Nice strong rebound that time by Roberts. Gets it to McNamara. Now Pace with some penetration. Dumps it down fourth. Misses the shot. Gets it back. Misses again. Roberts. That won't go. Roberts again with a rebound and he's hammered inside. Well, that was about the only way they were going to stop him. It was a rebounding clinic there by the Orange. The foul is on Haddix, his second. That was the end of what was a little dribble, dribble rub between McNamara and Pace. Pace got in the lane, found fourth. Fourth missed a couple. The Roberts a got his own. Thing. Yeah, they just could not get it to go. And finally, they, it's kind of like when you ice the puck in hockey, you just got to get a break. They had to take a foul there, Sienna, just to get a little breather because they were pounding him. McNamara gives it back to Pace. He almost lost it. Leans in and will go to the line. Wow, that's a tough sequence, and home fans don't like it. It was about four or five bumps in there, and the rest were deemed incidental. That was the one the fans wanted to charge. Maybe he oversold it, and then the little body shot at the end there sends Pace to the line for a couple. Pace was two of two at the party throw line in the first half. The Orange made seven of eight. Clinton got his second on that one. 11 points now for the senior from Griffin, Georgia, Josh Pace. David Ryan checks back in of Haddix with two fouls, goes to the Siena bench. Eight for nine from the stripe for the Orange. Having a good afternoon. Doesn't get the roll on number two, kept alive briefly, and tracked down by Siena. The Saints will bring it up in the hands of McClinton. He'll run the offense. Back out there again is number four, Tay Fisher, who had the three three-pointers for CNN in the first half. Look how far out they have to chase Fisher. That opens up passing lanes. He's trying to squeeze it in there. He recognizes how far they have to extend. He stepped out of bounds. Good job by Syracuse defensively. Still able to recover after they came out to challenge Fisher, we talked about earlier, the all-time leading three-point shooter in high school, New York high school history. So they know they've got to go out and get him. Now, Scoop Jordan is his nickname. He tried to get to the baseline, and unfortunately, he stepped on it. We played four minutes of the second half. Easily stolen on a bad pass by Roberts. Gets it ahead, and it is knocked out of bounds by McNamara. He'll pick up his second foul. Wow, and our cameraman took one for the team there. McNamara just plowed him. He's up. He's all right. Up close and personal meeting with McNamara coming your way as we head to a break. 15.56 to go. Lights out. <laughs> Holiday Sales Drive. Lease the 2005 BMW 325i for $299 a month, only through January 3rd.
Beat.com, the fastest, smartest, and easiest way to shop online for your next new or used car. Not sure what vehicle you can afford? Choose to shop by price. Just type in your minimum and maximum price you want to pay, and BeatBeat.com will show you all the vehicles available in your price range. BeatBeat.com. Log on today and drive home your new vehicle tomorrow. <laughs> drive home with your car from Armory Automotive with BeatBeat.com. Anaconda Sports, your sports authority, proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company, make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby. Well, just in case you missed it a moment ago, this is how we went to break with McNamara racing down court, picking up a foul, and in the process, taking out one of our cameras. Yeah, but that speaks to McNamara's toughness. They're up 14. He's not going to concede anything. He's put up some great numbers, although I take issue with that last one. That's not a camera KO. That's just a knockdown. He's still up and ready. <laughs> That's not fair. He's ready to go. There he is. There we go. It's not a knockout. It's a knockdown, maybe. McNamara may be tough, but our guys are just as tough, John. Yes. David Ryan wears number 14, but that's not surprising because he will not wear a uniform with an odd number. He only wants even numbers. <laughs> Don't ask me why. He wants to be divisible by two. Apparently. I'm not sure why that is, but that's in the first free throw. He's made five of six at the line this year. Make it six of seven. A couple for him, the sophomore, a redshirt sophomore from East Chester, New York. 15-50 remaining in the ball game, and the lead is down to 12. Syracuse got it to 17 with the first basket of the second half, but since then they've slowed down a little bit. Fourth, over the top, knocked away, and it's still Warwick gets it and reverses and scores. One of the things they were trying to do was not let Haddix go out and chase fourth to the high post, let him stay home and try and clog things up. But that time he felt like he had to challenge him on the pass. When he did, it opened up the lane for Warwick, and he finished it. Fisher's three on the way. Rattles out. Nice rebound by Ford. Just too strong that time as he pulls down the board. Pace will push it ahead. Spins. Dumps it down. Warwick could not control. Oh, my Lord. He gets beat up all over the place. Finally takes the shot. Roberts had the rebound. There's no place for the faint heart in there. <laughs> it was like when, wow, <laughs> shaking off his little brothers there to get it to the rim. Haddix against Roberts. Has it knocked away. Gets it back. Now he's double teamed. And finally, travel. Wow. Well, one thing you got to say, they've let him go at both ends. They absolutely have let them go at both ends. Here's a spin. That'd be a contact there, and he gets it back. There's a little bump there, and he makes a little bump there, and they call it a double dribble after all that. But as I said, in fairness, they let that exact same play go at the other end. So the officials being consistent, saying, you boys can settle it. We'll stay out of it. 51-37, the Orange with the lead. Pace down the lane, bending, bending good. 13 for Josh Pace. That matches his season high. He loves those, as you pointed out, those little leaners and runners. And just so versatile. Played on the top of the zone before. Now he's on the baseline. There's a lot of different things. That's going to be off the iron. Rebound was kept alive that time by Mitchell, and then a foul call. And the foul is on McNamara. He'll pick up number three. He is the first orange player in foul trouble. Behind, evidently going to stay with him here with a little over 14 to play. Sienna with the ball, 30 on the shot clock. We played six minutes of the second half. That's blocked. But Haddix strong enough to stay in there and get the follow and the foul. The foul is on Warwick, his first, but Haddock's now in double figures with 11 and a chance for one more at the line. Well, that's a tough play for the fr for uh, Mitchell to get along the baseline there. He's obviously giving away a lot of inches at 6-3, but he went in there so strong 
There opened up a little rebounding lane for Haddix, and he was able to put it in the goal. Look who was there again, though, right in the middle of that. Josh Fish trying to get the charge on the first drive for the basket. Could have actually, had that been called, wouldn't have been unreasonable. He was there trying to get position. Al Fisher is back in the lineup now for the Saints. Haddix completes the three-point play. He's got a dozen this afternoon. And the lead is down to 13. For last year in the second half, Sienna outscored the Orange. Warwick is held by Haddix, who holds him up. Oh, they called it an intentional foul. Wow, that's got the crowd. Nobody argues with the call. That's a tough call. That's not a good call. Well, he just, just grabbed the arm and then he held him. Obviously not trying to be flagrant. He's holding him up. I mean, that's no more a deliberate foul than McNamara ahead of the field taking a foul there to try and keep from giving up the layup. That's a good point. But it is foul number three on Haddix. That's the bad news. Warwick makes one of two at the line, and Syracuse will get the ball back. Nine points this afternoon for Warwick, who's averaging over 21 a game. So Haddix back to the bench. He's in foul trouble. The second Siena player with three. Warwick has it stolen by Fisher. He had the other Fisher ahead of him. Instead, they'll reset to the he's senior Tommy Mitchell. They throw it over there. He's got a shot. He's got his feet set. He's ready to shoot it. Now they waited too long. Now they rotated that way. The runner along the baseline won't go. Fourth is there for the rebound. Gets it to McNamara. McNamara all the way down, knocked away. Syracuse and Syracuse will keep it. Well, the way that kid shoots it, Tay Fisher, you got to throw it his way once in a while when he's standing there with his feet already set to pull the trigger. McNamara to pace. Right now, McCroskey is on. Three, McNamara, yeah. good. You got to throw it to that guy, too, when he wants to shoot it. That's his fourth tray, and he's got 21 points this afternoon. That matches his season high. He had that huge NCAA tournament game where he had 43. That's his career best. Pretty good stage to do that on, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Some people will notice that, won't they? <laughs> you do it in the NCAA. That's a blocking foul on Syracuse. Well, I got it right a kisser, I think. Yeah. I don't know if he's old. It's McCroskey who picks up the foul and takes the pop in the nose to boot. 15 fouls so far in this half against the Orange. Take a look. He tries to get, Tried the to get in there and he got the elbow. Right in the face. Good call, but it is still painful. No Sienna will inbound under their own basket. 12 47 to play, a 17 point lead. McNamara, such a weapon. He missed a couple of three-pointers to start the second half, and this, the lead kind of dwindling away, and then bang, there he is with the big three. To the left hand, the miss, and Pace has the rebound of the shot by Mitchell. Syracuse. The timeout was called by Syracuse before the traveling violation. Uh, coming up, we will take a look at the dynamic duo. When you know who those two guys are, that's ahead. Stay with us. We'll be back to Albany, New York, with more New York basketball in a New York Minute. It's Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, and your Hyundai dealer is in a giving mood, giving you up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR on select models. And thanks to Hyundai's award-winning quality, Hyundai gives you America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So make your pilgrimage to the Hyundai Thanksgiving sales event for up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR now for November 30th. With Hyundai, you win. During Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, get up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR. The Cooper Xeon 2XS Ultra High Performance Tire. Made to perform on the skid pad. The slalom. The track. And in the real world. Cooper Tires. Don't give up a thing.
BeepBeep.com, the fastest, smartest, and easiest way to shop online for your next new or used car. Not sure what vehicle you can afford? Choose to shop by payment. Just type in your ideal minimum and maximum monthly payment, your cash down and trade-in value. BeepBeep.com will show you all the vehicles available in your payment range. BeepBeep.com, log on today and drive home your new vehicle tomorrow. <laughs> drive home with your car from Affordable Motors and BeepBeep.com. Anaconda Sports, your sports authority. Proudly supporting local high school athletes throughout the region. We want to thank all the teams and coaches that have made Anaconda the number one dealer in the Northeast. Football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever your sport, Anaconda has what you're looking for. From the latest gear and team uniforms to logo shirts and hats for your company. Make Anaconda your connection. Hey, if you want to go for sports equipment, go to Anaconda Sports. It's awesome, baby. 57-40 Syracuse, as promised, the dynamic duo in action. Yeah, pretty dynamic. Warwick's got nine of the loudest points you'll ever see. It seems like they're all on slams and follows, and McNamara doing just what he does. Four threes, running the show, hasn't missed a free throw. They are a rock-solid tandem. And don't let's not leave Josh Pace out of this thing, too. He's gotten a lot of steals, a lot of deflections. I mean, he's, he's got, got a lot of figures. points. Yes, he's he got does. 13 points. Yes, he does. But it was Warwick. And McNamara, who shoots another three and drills another one. He's got 24 points, five three-pointers. This was the highest-scoring duo, Warwick and McNamara, in the Big East Conference last year. And they'll be right there again this year, I'm sure. I was going to say, I don't see that slowing down very much. That is just great range. It's a joy to watch. Fisher got inside. It's tapped away. Pace comes out of it. He's guarded by the other Fisher. Just steps over him. McNamara's got another three. That one's too strong. Tipped out. McNamara wound up in the band. He's beyond the band. He jumped over the cheerleaders. He landed on a trombone, I think. Now he's apologizing to people. He got hurt that time, though. Well, the foul is called. We'll take a break here in Albany. A 20-point lead, second time tonight that the Orange have had that kind of an advantage. So what's this about our Guinness again? I've discovered that Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Only 125 calories? Brilliant! What else have you been up to? I've invented this little book. It's black. You put women's phone numbers in it. A little black book? Brilliant! <clears throat> uh, come here often. You can also use it as a coaster. A coaster? Brilliant! Brilliant! Guinness Draft has only 125 calories. Enjoy it responsibly. Brilliant! College basketball fans, get ready for the 2005 Big East Women's Basketball Championship. March 5th through the 8th at the Hartford Civic Center in Hartford, Connecticut. See all 12 Big East Women's Basketball teams battle for the Big East Championship Tournament title. For tickets and more information, call 860-525-4500. That's 860-525-4500. Or log on to Ticketmaster.com. Before any other attorney in our area advertised on TV, I had a simple message. If you or a loved one were injured due to the carelessness of another, I would be there to help. That was more than 15 years ago, and since then I have helped several thousands of our neighbors. People like Mary, Tony, Luther, Michael, and Chris and Mary. Other attorneys have come and gone, but I'm still here and on your side. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. The 2005 Ford Escape brings a whole new meaning to SUV. Escape is smart with a powerful 200 horsepower V6 engine. It's unique. Escape is the only small SUV with control track four-wheel drive. And Escape is versatile. It has plenty of room, plus an exclusive rack system. Now get the best-selling small SUV in America for only $269 a month. Visit your upstate Ford dealer for details today. Ford, built for the road ahead. Accused by 20 over Siena. The fifth rank Orange have been in front since they scored the game's first eight points. Also in the Big East in the second half. You can see West Virginia leading LSU. Five o'clock start for the Friars and Florida. And the Panthers of Pitt will play tonight. Niagara and St. John's also tonight. St. Mary's Rutgers coming up tonight. 
before the shot, the foul was called. It's going to be four now. Yeah. On, uh, How about Providence? Plays Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving, Friday, then jumps in a plane and plays Florida the very next day. It's like an NBA deal. Yeah, it is. It's a game every other night for them. <laughs> so Sneezek goes to the bench. As Gary Holly will take his spot. Warwick, one of two at the free throw line. And this will be a one and one situation for Hakeem. He hits number one. He's got double figures now with 10. ESPN USA Today top 25. Michigan State rolled over Nickel State. And Illinois comfortably in front of Gonzaga. So the that's, Zags having some problems this year. I don't know that that's a reflection on the Zags. It's Illinois. That is a very good team. There are people. Would be more than happy to make you a wager that they will be in the final four. They are a strong squad. And Pace will go to the bench for the Orange. Interesting, though, you're gonna, you're, you are absolutely right. You said earlier the Big East, like a lot of conferences, is going to be interesting to see how it shakes out at the top and who the surprises are. Because there are certainly some dark horses in the Big East and some of the other power conferences as well. And when all the new teams come in next year, they will play in just one division. But you know, only the top 12 will go to the tournament. That won't go. Tipped out. Still controlled by Sienna. Stolen away. Maddox, the intended recipient of that pass and the hell ball, will keep it at this end of the court. Great hustle by Holly getting on the floor. It looked like a turnover. At least he turned it into a hell ball with the possession arrow their way. They'll keep it. Hometown boy fourth departs as Daryl Watkins is in. We are here in the state capital of New York. I'm John Sanders along with Bob Balvano and the three point shooting. Nothing spectacular. McNamara has been doing it for Syracuse. And that's who you expect. Yeah, he hasn't been spectacular necessarily. He's been awfully good. I'll tell you what. But he's got 24 points. A season high. Some penetration and on the way in a foul on the orange. You know, it's one of the things you fight against early in the year. It is not the NBA. It's not 80 some odd games, but this is a game that at halftime was a comfortable margin against the team that's 0-4. And quite candidly, Syracuse looks a little less inspired after the break than they were in the first half. They came out playing very aggressively and they had been kind of lethargic in those games against Memphis State and Mississippi State in the first half. Credit some of that obviously to the competition there, but uh, they came out working hard here today and then it kind of backed off in the second half. It's a guy who will always find reason to worry about his team. Oh, yes. <laughs> no matter what, right? <laughs> Absolutely. But even he admits they can be pretty good. He is uh, obviously very optimistic. And we'll see what happens when Billy Eden comes back in the mix. He was an important member on that national championship team, a reserve, but an important reserve, and then started 16 of the 17 right. games last year. So he would add something to the mix. Watkins. Whoa. <laughs> was that a pass? I don't know <laughs> what the world that was, but <laughs> he hammered that one off the backboard. <laughs> it off the backboard. It's going to be a foul on McCroskey, I believe. Mensa was trying to get up with the shot, but maybe a couple too many passes down low by the little guys against Syracuse. Yeah, it's very, very uh, a quick, very, very quick back line for Syracuse, John. You, you know, they are big, but they are so fast to the ball. Every time it moves in the zone, that's right. You make that extra pass, they make you pay for it if you overpass. The freshman from Brooklyn, Mensa has three points, all here in the second half, all from the uh, free throw line. Not close on that one. McNamara got to it. He's in the, he's in the crowd again. And he'll stay. See on a ball. McNamara has been in the crowd. He's, he's, he's getting very as well acquainted much as the with ushers. All the people down at this end of the court, <laughs> yes. at least in the second half. Three trips to the uh, to the paid seats. We are midway through this second half of play. Maddox has oh. it blocked by Watkins. Great block. McNamara will reset. That was a nice bit of defense. Watkins held his ground, made the offensive player commit first, and then was right on the ball for the block. <laughs> Nichols did not leave his feet, according to the officials. I don't believe he did. It's a good call. And the foul will go 
on Gary Holly. It'll be his second. And Holly has really been matched up physically with Warwick. And he'll go to the line for a one and one. Well, take a look at Watkins hold his ground here on the block. Just a little fake. He stays down. He stayed down on the fake. That was the whole key. Haddock's turned to his right shoulder, gave him the fake. Watkins said, I'm not buying that. I'll wait till you go for real. And when he did, smack it out of there clearly. Good defense. Loose ball controlled by the Saints. Mensa will bring it up. Out there right now with Jordan. Also Holly. And of course Haddock. And another freshman, McClinton. Rebound by McCroskey. The Orange with numbers. McCroskey spins and scores. So many athletes. They come in waves. The 6'5 sophomore goes coast to coast off the rebound. So all of a sudden, it is a 20 plus point lead for the Orange, 64 to 43. Now they Force that shot. Yeah, Haddock to the follow, and he'll go to the line. He's the real deal. We've talked about that. He just keeps doing what he does. Always in there punching. Foul is on Watkins. That's a bit, three on him. A little bit over anxious on the drive, which is what happens when you're starting to fall behind. You get a little over eager, but Haddock just stays focused, gets the good position, secures the ball, draws the contact, and finishes it. Chance again for a three point play. Haddock's with 14 so far this afternoon. He didn't like that one very much. Tipped out of bounds, touched last by the Saints, so the Orange. We'll put it in play with 8.46 to go here in the second half, leading 64 to 45. You heard the groan from Haddocks on that shot. I think it was from him. He knew that was not going in. A little weave out front. Syracuse has been running here. A little dribble rubs. Deshaun Wright in the ball game for the second time. Played briefly in the first half. McCroskey to Wright. Gets to the foul lane. Looks for somebody and throws it away. Tapped away by Fisher. Back now Here comes George. Look how quick! Look how quick! Everybody runs. You know what? You don't run on this team. You don't play because they are getting up and down the floor. And it's not just what's impressive. It's not just on the offensive end. Everybody wants to run on the offensive end, but they get back. That was a great bit of hustle to save what could have been a layup there. Watkins, 6'11", covering a lot of ground. Batted away by Watkins, but. Sienna keeps with 15 on the shot clock. He to look for a skip pass to Fisher to get him a shot. They keep going to A to B. Syracuse so quick to the ball, they won't get a look. This is a three. It's too strong. McCroskey snares the rebound. Gets it ahead to Josh Wright. And he loses and commits a foul. Yeah. Rob Lanier doing a good job getting his guys to stay aggressive. And told them to stay up there, and they forced the turnover. Second foul on Josh Wright. The Syracuse not in trouble. 7.47 to play, and they lead by 19. BMW Holiday Sales Drive. Lease the 2005 BMW 525i for $4.69 a month, only through January 3rd. It doesn't take a degree in engineering to know that your car needs regular oil and filter changes. That's why we're ready in advance with brand names you trust. Castrol, Valvoline, Pennzoil, all in stock at ready-to-go low prices. So bring it on. We're ready in advance. For the best parts, people and brass, we're ready in advance. Now open until 9 p.m. on Sunday. I'm sick. My doctor says I can't work. What do they want from me? I've been paying into the system all my life. So why aren't my benefits there when I need them? I feel like giving up. I don't know what else to do. If you've been turned down for Social Security disability benefits, those complaints probably sound familiar. I'm attorney Ed Ryan. Don't get frustrated and give up. Call us today. And remember, if you wait too long, you'll have to start over and risk losing benefits. You can count on Ed Ryan to protect your rights. You are 50% more vulnerable to viral infection when you get only six hours of sleep. 
sleep, better health. It's true. And a new mattress from Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of Sealy Posturepedic, Simmons Beautyrest, King Coil, and Tempurpedic at everyday low prices. You don't need to wait for a sale. Forget about rebates. Capital Mattress has genuine everyday low prices. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand name mattresses are always sell. Sixty-four forty-five. As we come back to Albany, let's take a look at our BMW drive of the afternoon. Watch Rakowski going hard. They try and cut him off. He has the presence of mind to reverse pivot with the left hand and lay it right in. Beautiful. The BMW ultimate drive of the game for the six-five sophomore. Seven forty-seven remaining here at the Pepsi Arena in downtown Albany, the state capital. Clinton's first chance at the line this afternoon. He's four of five on the season. And to cut into that Syracuse lead. And I think you mentioned it. The intensity for the Orange in the second half, certainly not what it was in the, say, the opening 15 minutes or so. I was to say, it's not the NBA, but it is a long season. You don't get the same performance. What a good defensive play. And a nice jam that time by the freshman McClinton. There are reasons to be excited about these kids. He has eight points. That was an explosive bit of defense there. And all out pressure now being applied by the Saints as Fisher gets all over right. This is Deshaun right into the lane. Gives it up to Warwick. He misses the shot, gets his own rebound. And is fouled. Well, they're playing without McNamara right now, and you get the sense of how it's a little bit wobblier when he's not on the floor. When he's out there, boy, he just keeps things so secure. You take a look here. Right, trying to take on uh, the individual defense. The freshman then loses a little bit of the handle, and the other freshman does a very nice job of recognizing that, and coming and getting the steal. Good job of reacting and uh, turning it into an easy layup. And as I said, Sienna's got some reason to be excited about that. There are right, misses another. He's missed his last two. He is just three of six at the free throw line. 11 points for him, well under his average. Maddox now playing with four fouls, loses it out of bounds. The Saints will keep it. McClinton, though, John, yep. on that steal, and you saw right now in this position, his confidence level's just soared as this game has gone on. He's like, it's the number five team in the country. I can play with these guys. He's got eight points and is making some good decisions. That's too strong. Wright is there for the rebound. Finds McCrossley. Look at McClinton chasing. McCrossley has it knocked away, gets his dribble back as a result. Oh, nice pass. And stripped away, but a foul call. I love that about Warwick. I'll tell you what, he's a senior. He's uh, obviously capable of scoring, or at least getting a shot in every possession. Maybe they sell this a little bit too much. That's why they don't get that call. Holly sells it a little too hard, but as soon as the help comes over, Jordan comes over to help, Warwick finds his teammate. He's a very unselfish player. As I said, very impressed. As explosive as he is that he's still so unselfish with the basket. Right hits one at the line. One more, one more. The freshman from Syracuse, Deshaun Wright, getting some playing minutes here. It's 65-47, 641 to play. Syracuse has really never been in trouble this afternoon. That's what we talk about. It's a long season, and this is an opportunity for them to learn to play some minutes without McNamara. They'll have to do that at some point in the year. So Jerry has a seat. See if Syracuse can contain uh, some of that, have that continuity offensively. He looked one way, threw the ball the other, and nobody else was in the vicinity. So it's a turnover. Gives it back to the Orange. And again, the full court pressure. McCrossey takes the inbound play as he works on the center. He'll keep his dribble and get it into the forecourt. That's an offensive foul. Hey, that kid is fearless. McClinton is just holding his own on every possession right now. That's very impressive work by the freshman. Battling, battling, battling. And again, a little dramatic perhaps, but he did get a push and he sold it, got the call. Winding down to six minutes left. The over the top pass. <laughs> Watkins smashes it back in his face <laughs> and picks up the foul. And Warwick finds that a bit amusing. 
I've got four. Uh, says, that sounded like ball to me. High, low, nice pass. But again, in the back, they're going to react to the ball. Boy, that looked pretty good to me. They are just, it sounds so simple, but John, it is one of those things that's, uh, you know, easy to verbalize and not always easy to execute. Getting five guys to react to the basketball every possession. And I see Syracuse do that so well, especially in the back line. When the ball gets in the lane, they don't get anything easy. Second chance now for Brent Sneezek, the senior. And he gets one out of two. He's got seven points on the afternoon. Syracuse in front, controlling the basketball. The freshman, Josh Wright, being pressured by Fisher. And he almost lost it. Scrambles to keep it alive. McCroskey gives it up to Watkins. He's hammered on his way up. It was in the middle of that again. McClinton got almost created another steal. But again, to Syracuse credit, stayed with it. Wound up getting it inside Six to Watkins. Jordan is second personal. Darryl Watkins to the line for Syracuse. Shoots and two. Second personal. The foul was on Jordan and puts Watkins at the line for a couple. And he hits the first. Michael Lennox checks in for the Saints. Let's take a look at our game track. You see the shooting percentage. Uh, Syracuse has tailed off. They shot over 50% in the first half, but still very bad shooting for Siena. That has plagued them all year long. Well, and certainly it's unlikely to get much of a leap forward against this athletic Syracuse bunch. But, John, you said it. I, I, not a, uh, a knock necessarily. It's human nature. Not quite as inspired this half. And Syracuse has played now some extended minutes without McInerney, and that's reflected in their shooting percentage. Saints control the basketball. Paddock's underneath. Tried to muscle it up. Almost got the roll. Almost got a put back. And now Warwick comes out of the, the regular season in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Starts December 2nd for Siena. Play Manhattan. Out of bounds. Right, really pressured. Well, Rob Lanier is loving that. The head coach for Siena applauding his guards who are much more assertive, putting a lot of pressure on. You see Fisher knocks it away, and as it's picked up, he's standing on the sideline. His right, that's a turnover. So freshman for Syracuse having some problems with these athletic guards for Siena. Fisher's three, and that's his fourth one. All of his points, 12, coming on three-pointers. Makes it 68 to 51. So the lead, which has grown back to 20 with just over five minutes remaining, is cut back a bit by Fisher. You think, is he, is he on the line here, John? I think he's behind it a bit. Yeah, I think he's behind the line. <laughs> he's, he's, he would have been behind the experimental line. He would be. <laughs> and the a, NBA line. He was almost behind the midcourt line. That is some serious range. Oh, shooting covers a multitude of sins. When you can shoot it like that, people can find a place for you. But he also showed the def defense on that last possession. He's more than just a one-trick pony. And we mentioned the regular season starting in December for the Saints. Look at what's ahead. Winthrop, Manhattan, Iona, Youngstown State, Fordham. Four of those next six will be away from the friendly confines of the Pepsi Arena. It's going to be hard for them to get healthy in a hurry, but... Certainly see a great enthusiasm with this bunch. They have played hard the whole game. They haven't gotten down when they have gotten down on the scoreboard. They're still playing hard here. Well, it is pretty much assured that they will go 0-5 to start the season, and that's the worst start ever as Haddock's the steal on the baseball pass to McCroskey. And Jimmy Bayhouse coming back with that guy. He doesn't like what he's seeing right here. Blocked by Watkins. Gotta like that guy shot blocking though. Wow. Right off his foot, and he will not be able to track it down. He goes head first into one of the still photographers. Boy, it's, uh, it, the, the next promotion when these two teams meet better be helmet night <laughs> court side. Bodies are flying, but I'll tell you, he's got to be a little disappointed. Jim Beheim, Josh Wright has had a hard time. A number of turnovers. The guards for Siena have gotten very aggressive against him and forced some turnovers, and it's forced. Coach Beheim to bring back Jerry McNamara to try to settle things down here. 4.40 to play. play. The pace and McNamara, they are the stalwarts. They're back out there for the Orange. When Clinton gets inside. That's too strong, but Haddix is there. Puts it back up, no good. Tipped out. Controlled again by Fisher, so the Saints will keep it. 
down by 17. That won't go. Batted away and finally ripped out of there by Watkins. Now pace from McNamara. Right. Looks for help. Finds it from McNamara. And Jim Beheim does not like what he sees. So he's going to take the short time out. It will come with 4.04 to play. And a 68 51 lead for Syracuse. Check out the coaches' poll as far as the conference is concerned. This is the preseason pick from Syracuse, Connecticut, Pittsburgh, Notre Dame, Boston College. Can't argue with those top four, can you? Well, I don't. I think people will be very surprised if any of those top four do not have good years. The question is who emerges beyond that. Providence, as I said, just had a chance to see them play two games in the preseason NIT, and I think they are destined for a very good year as well. They beat Michigan in the consolation game, get a third place finish there, trying to head back to the NCAA tournament. Boston College, of course, very dangerous. So it's going to be another interesting and entertaining year in the Big East. McNamara from Pace gets it back to Josh and a reach in foul. Fisher gets a little bit too That's four on him. 3.57 to go. We're going to take a break. Fisher's three pointer doing the best he can for the Saints, but they trail the orange here in Albany. It's Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, and your Hyundai dealer is in a giving mood, giving you up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR on select models. And thanks to Hyundai's award-winning quality, Hyundai gives you America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. So make your pilgrimage to the Hyundai Thanksgiving sales event for up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR now through November 30th. With Hyundai, you win. During Hyundai's Thanksgiving sales event, get up to $4,000 cash back or 0% APR. You see us as athletes, but first and foremost, we're students. We go to class, study, do term papers, take exams, and then we watch game film, go to practice and lift weights. We graduate with distinguished degrees and get good jobs. We're doctors, teachers, and engineers. We work in high finance and community service. Sports is the means to an end. We are student athletes, the future civic leaders of America. Alcohol and over-the-counter sleep remedies induce drowsiness but reduce the quality of sleep. Better sleep, better health. It's true. And Capital Mattress in Latham may be the answer. Come see the area's largest selection of specialty sleep products, water beds, futons, latex foam, and adjustable beds, along with everyday low prices on Sealy, Simmons, King Coil, and Tempur-Pedic. Capital Mattress, 200 yards south of the circle in Latham, where brand-name mattresses are always sell. Who do you think talked over 5,000 accident victims last year? Who do you think handled over 1,000 injury cases last year? Who do you think insurance companies sent millions of dollars to last year for the settlement of clients' claims? Who are you going to call if you get hurt in a car wreck? You know who. Martin, Harding, and Mazzotti. From the heavy hitters, do it again. Call 1-800-LAW-1010. Today's game is being brought to you by BMW and the BMW 3 Series with all-wheel drive. Cooper Tires, proud to be the official tire of the Big East Conference. Cooper Tires, don't give up a thing. Just under four to play. Syracuse leading with McNamara going to the line. And Jerry's had his career best game for this season, his season high game so far at 24. He's made four of four now at the free throw line. 25 point afternoon for McNamara. Two, one more. I couldn't help but notice those you know, when uh, they had trouble in that uh, half court offense. There. They were looking so hard to back. Where is he? Where is he? That's what presence he brings to them on the floor. Absolutely. 26 point afternoon for Jerry McNamara. Lead back to 19 again. Saints have made some mini runs, but they really haven't had an expanded period where they've been able to put points on the board. No, but they've had some things to hang their hats on. They've got to be certainly pleased with some of the freshmen. Jack McClinton has played terrific, and 
Tay Fisher has been outstanding with their long range shooting, and Jimmy Beheim doing the same thing for his team. He's trying to get some answers, trying to find out about some of his freshmen. Deshaun Wright, okay, hits the two. So there's he's in double figures now. McClinton has 10. Pace working his way against McClinton gets it to McNamara, guarded by Fisher. This is Warwick, who only has 11. Spins, shoots, bending, bending, no good. Tipped up once, and now the rebound goes to a guy playing with four fouls. Michael Haddock and Brent Sneezek playing with four fouls. There's a three, rattled out, wouldn't go. Out of bounds. Touch last, and the Big East football season is winding down. A key game being played this afternoon. Wow. Syracuse at halftime leads number 17 Boston College 24 to 10. And that could certainly confuse the bowl picture if the Orange win that one. Do you think the folks in Pittsburgh are watching that score? I would think there are several teams watching that score. <laughs> McNamara. You just can't get him in trouble. Though. Knocked away by Sneezik. The pace gets it back. Still plenty of time. 15 on the shot clock. We're in the final three minutes of the ball game. McNamara. He loses it. They battle at midcourt. Found the Saints come out of there. That's a foul. Those two kids are fearless. Tay Fisher and Jack McClinton, those two freshmen are absolutely fearless. They don't care that they're guarding Josh Pace and Jerry McNamara. Watch him get after McNamara, bounces off his foot, and the ball's loose on the floor. McNamara basically tries to tackle him. <laughs> he knocks him down. We've had some pretty good scrimmages <laughs> here. But it didn't matter. He was determined, Fisher, to get the basketball, and he did. No luck on number one. Haddock's just two for five at the free throw line this afternoon, working on a 14-point game. He had 19 last year in the loss. He lost by 13 to the Orange. One of two at the line. That's 15 points now for the junior from Vineland, New Jersey. Two and a half to go, 16-point lead. The Orange up by 15 at halftime. It was 46-31. Warwick down the lane, and that may be the end of the afternoon. For sneezing. Uh, that's just too good. There's not a lot of guys in the MAC or anywhere in the country who are 6'8 who are going to be able to make that kind of move explosive. Well, while we have a moment with 222 to play, let's check out our Cooper Tires defensive player of the game. There he is, Josh Pace, six rebounds, one block, one steal. But as you said at one point, he guards everybody out there. Well, it's one of those things, that's that one steal. There's about three plays where his teammates got the steal, but he got the deflection on it. Here's one of them. He knocked that loose. That steal goes to McNamara, but he's the one that made the play. McNamara just picked the ball up off the floor. He had two other ones just like that. It's one of those things that doesn't translate in the box score, but he certainly was instrumental in creating that turnover. Two coming up for Warwick, who is three of six at the foul line. Make it three of seven. The senior from Philadelphia. One of the tough things in college basketball is to get kids to come and stay. Uh, you can go out and recruit the great players, but if they don't stay, it's not going to help you, right? And there's some good ones in this league. We saw Ryan Gomes, who's made a good decision, I think, to come back. And Chris Thomas is Thomas. Notre Dame. There's going to be some good upperclassmen in this conference. Fisher penetrates, gets it back. Wide open look that time, and a foul called at the other end as they tried to take it away from Warwick. Foul is on McClinton. Let's take a look at Jerry McNamara. He's had a season-high game this afternoon. Well, we know he can do that. Makes the jumper off the pass. That time off the dribble. That goes without saying. A guy who's made nine three-pointers in a game. But his presence has been great. Warwick's had not a lot of numbers, but the ones he's had have been spectacular. Yes, they have. You can reverse dunk. Just no reason to think that uh, he's anything but as advertised. And the second of his two at the line, he made the first with 2.06 to play. And he doesn't get the roll. Wright keeps it alive. Fourth, the hometown boy puts it up, and he'll go to the line. And that's going to do it for Michael Haddix. So both Sneezik and Haddix fouling out here in the closing minutes of this one. There is the duo. 
Hakeem Warwick with 13, and McNamara put 26 on the board. Now it's 39. They average 38, so they have done their work for the day. Fourth had a couple of baskets early in the ball game. This is the fourth time that he's been able to play in front of hometown family and friends. And I'm, are they going to change the foul? No, some confusion about. Exactly what they're doing here, but right now, if they started, Santa would have seven guys on the floor, and I don't <laughs> think that's what the officials want. No, I, I don't think that Jim Haney's going to allow that to happen. But there's something about the substitution pattern over there right. that was not to his liking. And Jim Beheim now just with a wry grin on his face, and you don't see that too often. He's been in conversation most of this afternoon with Haney and company, the officials. So Haddix does foul up. Good, good, strong effort around the basket, though. Again, Haddix is going to be a, a force to be reckoned with in their conference. Last year, he was second team all back and made the all tournament team. He'll have a big seat. He'll have a big junior season, I would think. Fourth has started now 107 consecutive games. He's been in the lineup. He doesn't put up flashy numbers. He's just solid. And they just win a lot of games when he's out there. Run half his town, which is not more than about four or five miles from here, I don't think, has come out to support the hometown hero. He got the largest hand during the introductions. In the final two minutes from Albany. Pace shoot the gap there. Almost forced a turnover just with his quickness and athleticism. And throw it away. Jordan gets it to Fisher. This is the other Fisher spinning and dumping it down a block, but it's recovered and put back in. So staying with it was Jordan to get his first field goal of the afternoon. He's got four points. Boy, they don't give up. They just try and block everything and rotate it to everything. You, you get it, you earn it. McNamara picked up by Fisher, gets it to Pace. Now Warwick outside. Another three for Jerry McNamara. Bingo. 29. Six three pointers for him this afternoon. Three in each half. He's the winner. That's all you can say about that kid. And the coaches would tell you that in two sentences if you talk to him. They'll tell you in one sentence, won't they? That's about right. That's knocked away. Fisher's pass was deflected. Picked up by the Orange. Final minute now. Warwick leaves it for McNamara. It's been his day here at the Pepsi Arena. Syracuse trying to go 5 and 0 to start the season. Right working hard. The putback will go by four. Fourth with seven. That's just about what he averages per game. Final 30 seconds coming up from here in Albany. The battle of these New York teams. That one rattles out. And the rebound to Warwick. This has been a punch the clock kind of performance for the Orange. They came out inspired. And uh, for the rest of the day, they have uh, put in a workmanlike performance. Gotten the job done out of the people that they've done the things that they've needed to do. Warwick inside, McNamara outside, pace defensively, good play off the bench. Very impressive, if not spectacular. And McNamara will keep it in his hands as this one comes to an end. 78-56. Big, big afternoon for McNamara. 29 points, three assists. He did the job for the Orange, and they did the job here to improve their record to 5-0. and uh, An impressive start to this ball game, and then Syracuse just put it away. Yeah, as we said, that's what good teams do, is they just punch the clock. Everybody does what their jobs are, and they do it effectively, and they did for 40 minutes tonight. A 22-point victory for the Orange of Syracuse as they go to 5-0 for Bob Balvano. I'm John Sanders. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation of ESPN Plus, the worldwide leader in collegiate sports television. So long, everyone. Every day, you live with the risk of intruders and curious youngsters. Hi, Anthony Sullivan here for the first alert alarm system. It'll make your home safer for you. Anchor of Nightly News. Tonight, NBC continues to look back at Tom's 40-year career in journalism. Then, at 8 o'clock here on NBC, the traditional lighting of the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center. We'll be back with a full report at 11. Stepping down.
Another resignation from the Bush cabinet. This time, it's Homeland Security Secretary Tom Ridge. Why is he going now? Crossing the border, President Bush in Canada, mending fences on the war, foreign policy, and trade. Lifeline, your gut tells you it's true, and now so does science. There is a direct link between stress and aging. And through the years tonight, a salute to the greatest generation. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Now it's seven. Seven cabinet officers leaving President Bush's administration as it heads into a second term. This time, it's the man who spent much of the last four. His final nightly broadcast, Tom joins his old friends on Today for a last hurrah, only on NBC. At least 31 people flying in the first ever study. I'll be right back. Memories of the greatest generation. NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Brought to you in part by Aflac. Ask about it at work. Let's talk about better. When someone says something's better, it's usually just their opinion. So if you say... Friday, a young girl disappears. Why won't this woman tell the family what she knows? Dateline Friday, 8, 7 central on NBC. Now the time has come. At MSNBC, our headlines are updated fresh every 15 minutes. Just another reason why America's watching MSNBC. I've been in this chair for more than 20 years, and for most of that time, I've concentrated on the news of the day and how it would affect our future. But it was an assignment to cover a celebration of our past that truly changed my life, professionally and personally. They were the stories of the men and women I came to call the greatest generation. I went to Normandy to do the 40th anniversary of D-Day. 40 years ago, this became one of the bloodiest battlegrounds in American military history. These are the boys of Puente de Hope. These are the men who took the cliffs. These are the champions who helped free a continent. And these are the heroes who helped end a war. God bless you all. Now, you guys haven't been back here in 40 years. I walked down to the beaches with two veterans of the first wave. How does it look to you? Peaceful. Oh, looks peaceful, right? Have you ever been more scared? When you were so scared, you became brave. Always one question they ask me, and they say, would you go back? Would you do it all over again? And my answer is absolutely. I'll do it all over again to let you here in America stay free. And I thought, these are the people who raised me. They've been out there all this time, having gone through so much trial. And I thought, I've got to write about this. I was just the lady next door. I wasn't anybody special. But there are a lot of you around this country who were like that, who did these really heroic things during the war and then came back, kind of melted into the landscape, didn't demand attention. That's the way it needed to be. I really think so. So much sacrifice during the war. And then they came home and built the country we have today. They've never asked for anything from all of us. It was 60 years ago today that American, British, and Canadian forces stormed ashore here to liberate Europe. Now has come a time of reflection with thoughts of another horizon and the hope of reunion with the boys you knew. They were keenly aware of the people who had not come back. So many of the veterans have said to me, you know, I had to live my life for those who didn't come back. But I have to uh, live a good life for these people because they paid the supreme sacrifice, which I didn't. I feel like I'm the voice for these people that can't speak anymore. How can I say one story is better than the next? Ozakowski of New York, Abernathy of North Carolina, Haig of Minnesota. It took me a while, but it's the most important thing I've ever done professionally. There are those, even members of that generation, who have challenged my claim, the greatest generation. My short answer is, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's Nightly News for Tuesday. I'm Tom Brokaw. 
I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Nightly News is a presentation of NBC News. More Americans watch NBC News than any other news organization in the world. WTEN. The Seinfeld gang is out of jail and coming to Jeopardy for a category. Stay tuned.